Hello, Leo. Welcome to your April 2018 general reading. Please keep in mind it is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, check your moon and rising signs. Not a bad idea to do it anyway because it gives you a well-rounded view of the month. Um, so far, all the general readings have turned into love readings. So no guarantee. It's whatever spirit wants you to know. And with your overall energy card, I'm guessing this is going to be a love reading too. So... Anyways, getting going here. I lay out the cards as usual. Three across and three down. Bottom of the deck as well as the center card represent your overall energy. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. Now for me, the Ace of Swords is all about truth. Because it's a sword, obviously. It's uh, intellect. It's It's thoughts, it's beliefs, okay, and the Ace of Swords, Aces are always gifts from spirit, in my mind, and so you're being gifted with something, and the Ace of Swords for me in this deck, what it represents is peace and contentment, but not without conflict first, okay, so you're having to um, fight for something a little bit. It's nothing major. <clears throat> and then you will have the peace and contentment that you want. Um, center of the reading, Two of Cups. Cups are all about emotions, so love. And twos are all about partnership. So this is you and a partnership. So, first card. Now I don't read the cards past, present, future. But this card, the card in this position, is always your present because it's the beginning. It's the beginning of April. It's the beginning of your reading, okay? This card down here is always your outcome card, so it's the end of April, so it is the future card. But everything in between can be past between the first and last card. It can be present, and it can be, well, it, can, it can't be future, all of it, because this card is present, okay? So... Well, yeah, it could be. It can't be... Um, well, this card, too, I mean, within reason, as far as timing goes, it can be the pack, give or, two, give or take a couple of weeks, but it is your present, as in it's not going to be a card that represents something that happened a year ago. Okay, so this is likely where you're at, where you, you were just at within the last couple of weeks, or where you're about to be in the next couple of weeks, okay? So the cards in between can be anything from present to future. Um, past as far as it doesn't go back past this card, okay? It can go back, if this is two weeks ago, this can go back anywhere between now and two weeks, but they cannot go back behind the present card because we're starting at the present and working forward, okay? So the first card you have is the High Priestess. If you notice in the card, this this pillar on this side is dark, pillar on this side is light. This is you moving from the dark to the light. It's you um, growing intuitively because this card also represents intuition. So you are going to be blessed with higher knowledge if you want to look at it that way you will be gifted with um, a higher level of intuition and psychic abilities you will also because of that it, it's you being enlightened basically okay you will have a knowing just a knowing your next card is the knight of swords very fast forward movement the Knight of Swords is the fastest moving knight in the deck and can be a very brutal, brutal movement. Um, not always, though. That that will depend on the cards around it. And from what I'm seeing, it's not brutal. It's just very fast. And again, it's swords. So truths, um, thoughts, beliefs. But it's, it's forward movement that way. The next card is Six of Pentacles. Now that card um, is all about balance. Sixes are balance. 
And this is a card about reciprocity. It's about give and take. So if you're doing all the giving and someone's doing all the taking, you need to change that because we have to have balance in life in every aspect. Um, if you're doing all the taking, then same thing. You need to turn that around and do some giving. Next card we have is the Knight of Wands. Now, that is the second fastest moving knight in the deck. It's just underneath the Knight of Swords. Wands are fire, so it's passion, drive, ambition, goals, determination, okay? Now, if you notice, he's facing the past. So, we'll get to that in a minute. We already did that card. The next card you have is the Knight of Pentacles. Now, this is kind of the opposite to the Knight of Wands and Swords because it is the slowest moving knight in the deck. And if you notice, he is moving to the future. The right is always the future, left is always the past. And we'll get to that when I start to do the reading. Okay, the next card you have is the Page of Wands. Pages are all about messages coming in. And again, wands are passion drive, ambition, goals, you know, but it's, um, it can be a message in regards to work, whatever it is, it's coming in fast, and you notice he's facing the past too, I'm wondering if there's something going on here, we'll soon find out. Okay, the next card, amazing, the star card, this is wish fulfillment, it's hope, it's faith, it's healing, it's belief, and it is wish fulfillment, whatever it is that you wish for, that you're dreaming of, wish big, because this card tells you that your wishes and your dreams are all coming true. So wish big. You wish small, that's what you're going to get. Wish big, that's what you're going to get. And this is unbelievable because your outcome card is the Nine of Cups. That is the other wish fulfillment card in the deck. Now, because you have two of them, they're right side by side. This one is a cup, whereas the other one is, is not, it's not set. It's just the star, okay? So, now the star could be all about healing. And this one could be all about um, wish fulfillment. Or the star could be all about wish fulfillment. And the nine of cups is all about wish fulfillment in love. Because cups are emotion. And it's, it's usually about love. It's about emotional happiness and fulfillment. Wow. That is amazing, Leo. So... Just let me take a look here. Okay, what I'm seeing here is that you are moving forward very fast. Trying to gain some balance within your life. Now, because the Two of Cups is the center, everything that touches it in any direction, the cards, when they're, they're next to each other or they're in proximity like this, you know, they play off of each other. So, um, the balance was within your love life, within a partnership here. You wanted balance and you were you were moving very quickly. It was your your gut was telling you that you needed to do things fast to speed this up, to get the balance within the relationship because it could be going out just as fast. Balance within the relationship, and this is facing the past, page of one. So, to me, this is a message of that didn't work. 
the speed did not work. And I know that's what that's saying because in front of the Two of Cups now you have the Knight of Pentacles, which is slow and steady wins the race. So you have slowed things right down where this love relationship is concerned. I'm wondering if that's where the conflict came in. Conflict about the pace caused issues in the relationship. You're willing to slow down and move. Or your partner. Okay, wait. So these are either side of the Two of Cups. So you are extremely fast moving. Your partner is extremely slow moving. And you're trying to find a balance in that to keep this going. But for me, this says that was a failure. Because this is facing the wrong way. If this was a page that was facing the future, it would be different. So, you're wishing that this, this may be failed, this may be ended, and your wish fulfillment is to have this back. This, this is, because this is your overall energy, this tells me that this conflict is around this relationship. And because of the conflict, this is all that's on your mind right now. And you're, wow, with the two wish, wish fulfillment cards here, this is about you really, really wanting this to work. Wow. So, balance in the relationship. That's what you needed and you didn't have it. This upset the apple cart, so to speak. You both travel at different paces. One extremely fast, the other one extremely slow. And that threw off the balance because these are touching. Well, in fact, this is very fast too. So this, and this is your energy here. So you sped things up thinking that it was balanced or that it would balance this. But it didn't. Because your partner is very slow moving. Balance, partnership. Both of these going in the wrong direction. This is you wishing you could go back. You want to go back and and fix this. That's this too. This is um, the enlightenment. You wish you could go back and know what you know now because you would have changed things. Because you thought that this was just such a clear-cut direction here to your wish fulfillment. So I wanted to know what this is, the conflict, if this is got to do with the pace, the speed at which you tried to take things. So I'm going to use my pendulum. Pendulums are amazing. They can be used when you need a yes or no answer from spirit. Um, spirit, show me movement for a yes answer, please.
Okay, clockwise. Show me movement for a no answer, please. Okay, counterclockwise. So what I want to know is, did all of this upset? Is all of this upset because of the pace or because of conflict? So is all of this upset and did this not work out? because of the fast pace that Leo was moving in. No. Okay, so in the extended, we're going to clarify a few things and find out what happened here and why it happened. Also going to ask your guides, Leo, your personal guides, um, what advice they have for you in this situation. And um, if you're interested in having your own pendulum, I do make them and sell them on my website. They are in the shop category. So take a look. But um, the link will be below for extended, and there are might be something right up in this area for you to, to click on. We'll see you there.